So we're going to talk about protocols now. Um, how do we do this? Okay. So a lot of people hear the word protocol thrown around. Um, not necessarily, I guess they might not know what it means exactly. Um, what is a protocol, right? And a protocol is really just a form of communication that is has an agreed upon format, as weird as that sounds, right? It's like um, we can make a protocol, me and you, right now. Like if, if I'm, I'm here at my computer and you're over there watching yours, um, my protocol will be, I have, I don't know why I keep using these as examples, but my protocol will be, uh, let me get these in front of the camera, yeah, these two crystal blocks, right? Um, and I'll say that when I hold up this, uh, this right one, it's dog, and when I hold up the left one, it's cat. Now that's my left and, and my right, but um, you guys are reviewing in reverse, so um, either way. When I hold up this one right here, dog, cat, right? So, cat, dog, dog, cat. We just invented our own protocol. It's really that simple. We agreed upon a way to transfer information um, without, you know, like with, like we, we gave values these representations, we gave them a certain value. And that's pretty much all you're doing in a protocol is your repres this the, the numbers or the characters that are coming in is just a representation of the underlying value that, that the computer is looking for. So when we look at um, something like uh, Wireshark, like if you're looking at Wireshark and you look at packets and stuff, um, you can see the binary underneath or the hexadecimal, it doesn't really matter which one. Um, each certain place of those uh, of those digits are mean a certain thing right so we're, we're gonna go over like a very easy protocol that I'm gonna make right here on the fly that we're gonna do and that's gonna be um, I'm gonna send I'm gonna have 16 16 uh, bits right so um, or, I'm sorry one two three four five six seven eight. I'm gonna split these up. Okay, we'll do that. Um, so we have uh, 16 bits, right? And what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna send these 16 bits to you, right? So, um, in other words, I. It, it's funny because I actually well, I wrote like a white paper regarding um, transferring data without ever transferring data by signaling. Uh, it's kind of a cool, uh, it was a cool write-up, I liked it. Uh, of course I liked it, right? Um, but it's it's the equivalent of, it's a protocol, right? Like you can, as long as you know what the protocol is and no one else does, um, the values might be meaningless to them, as, as weird as that sounds, right? So uh, let's say that every time in this protocol, um, the first one, these these first four bits that you see are going to be um, a number. They'll actually be the decimal representation, we'll say. So the first four bits out of eight bits, so we're reading in 16 bits, right? We're reading in 16 bits, but we're gonna break these up into two separate messages, let's say, right? So this is gonna be message one, these eight. This is gonna be message two, right? Here, we're gonna say that this first portion so now that we have that first message and that's what this is what computers do a lot is they break these things up into messages so this first message here is now going to we're going to go through and we're going to further dissect it um, so we're going to say that we don't care let's put an enter we don't care about the second message yet we're going to parse this first message as if it was um, all we saw we don't care about the second message yet because we're just going to do the exact same thing for the second one so for the first message, we're going to say that the first bit, so the first bit in this message is going to be, uh, if it's a one, so one, uh, let me, let me, let me um, put one thing over here. Um, we'll keep this where it's at. Um, but we're going to create a new column here just because it might get a little, I don't want it to get too confusing. Um, so we're dealing with this first message still, right? 
this first message that's right here. Um, but our overall protocol we're going to write up here, and that's going to be there's total of eight bits, right? So we need to figure out what each representation of these means. Um, and let's say that the first in these eight bits, um, the first bit, if it's set on, is going to be a male or a female, right? So if it if it's a male, it's going to equal one. If it's a female, it's going to equal zero, right? Um, and the second digit is going to be how many kids they had, right? So let, let's say that, that uh, we're writing a protocol for like a store or something, and every time somebody walks through the door, um, it's going to tell us who walked through the door, and it's going to give us information about their family, right? All in four digits. It's going to be crazy, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that, right? So the first digit here, this first one, would be a male. If it's a one, it's going to be a male. If it's a zero, it's a female. Um, we, we can swap that around. I really don't care. It doesn't make a difference. I don't want people to be like, oh, you gave the male equal one. No. Um, but male equals one, female equals zero. We're just going to go with that for right now. Um, the next digit that we see is going to be how many kids they had, right? So um, if now, now this is going to be a flaw in our protocol, and you'll see, um, is that we can only account as if they had one kid, but we can say, do they have children? So we'll say the second digit is if it's a, so no children, children equals zero, um, children equals one. So the second digit, if there's a one there, is going to mean that they have children, that they, that children came with them, right? Um, and then one is, well, this next one we'll do is, um, did they have a cart, right? So we'll say um, they have a cart. Well, we'll say no cart equals zero and cart equals one, right? So they either, looking at this third digit, they either don't have a cart if it's a zero or they do have a cart. And we'll go with the final one. And the final one is, um, let's go with, they left the store already, okay? They're still in the store. So if it's a one, or so if it's a zero, they left. If it's a zero, um, they still shopping equals one. So right here, this protocol, we just created a protocol, right? Um, and we did this by. We're actually going to have four messages here. I, I don't. I can't. I don't want to come up with eight more things. Um, <laughs> there, it's tedious if you come up with eight more things. Um, so let's actually come back over here, and we are going to select this and delete that. Um, we're going to just create messages, right? So instead of having an eight-bit message, we're going to have four-bit messages. Um, so we'll still do sixteen of them. Okay, so we still have 16 of them, right? But we're just going to break them down into fours. So in our protocol now, by reading this in, right, a computer, we assigned values to it. So we assigned, a, we made a protocol for it. So um, this here, I can tell that a male came in with children, male with children. Um, no cart, still shopping. That's what a protocol is, right? I am telling you how to interpret these digits. Um, and then the protocol is agreed upon me that sent the message and the receiver of the message. So this next person, right, we can look at and say, um, male with children came in. No cart. Um, they 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 left. Um, we'll say I'm gonna say done shopping. I'm gonna change the wording. Um, done shopping. Um, 
actually and we'll go here and select this and say we'll delete that sorry I'm a little OCD when it comes to this done shop okay so they're done shopping equals zero still shopping equals one so um, now I want you to interpret this protocol right and I say what is what do you see when you look at this protocol and because you know you have the key to this protocol you can easily figure out what's going on right you can look at it and you can say uh, that's a female because there's a zero there um, she had children with children um, had a cart and is done shopping Right, it, it, and protocols are that simple. That that's legitimately what it is. Now, granted, when they become longer and the message sizes become longer, and you're dealing with different bit sizes and how like how many bytes equals um, a value, and then you have to convert it, like it, it gets harder that way. But in the most simplistic terms, the underlying protocol that's happening when when a computer looks at binary is it you're telling it how to take this data that's coming in just ones and zeros and how to interpret it right and that's that's a big um like i i feel like a lot of people don't even think about it that much when they talk like they mention protocol and you're like like they it's like a, a key word or something that they use and it's like but what is a protocol actually right like what, what the simplest version what is it and and yeah like something like this i feel hopefully will help you understand that um so let's do this last one together and then um we'll yeah and then we will go ahead and i'd say i could pull up i might pull up a a uh, a packet that came in and we can look at it and see what's going on with it but <clears throat> let's let's finish this one right um we say one is a male um uh, once again, with children. Apparently, everybody has children that's coming to our store. Must be a toy shop or something. Um, children, um, zero, uh, no cart. Apparently, guys don't like carts either. Um, and still shopping. Right? So, data analysis, right? And this can actually go into like machine learning and stuff, right? Is um, It's funny, but it, if you look at like the way data is represented, um, in computers, this actually, we can see a trend here, right? Like you can see a trend in this data. And that is that males, when there's a one here, right? When there's a one here, there is a zero in your third column. That's a trend. That's a, that's, a, if I'm analyzing this, I look at this trend, I say male, no cart, male, no cart, male, no cart is that it's something that's occurring more often. I haven't seen a male with a cart yet. And um, if you're a guy and you ever go grocery shopping, you'll maybe relate how I do. And I, for some reason, I never grab a cart. I always grab a, like a either a hand thing, like one of those, what is it? Uh, I can't think of words. But yeah, I'll grab like a little, I don't even know what you would call it. It's not a bag whatever, grocery box thingy that you hold around and you walk around the store. People are gonna be like, wow, you're stupid. You can't think of that. It's like, yeah, no, I can't, sorry. My brain's not in that mode right now. Um, the other thing you can see is that um, everybody has children, right? It doesn't matter who comes in. This one here, like this must be a, possibly a toy store um, by looking at that. Um, only one person had a cart. Uh, we can say that this female, the female had a cart. So it's possible that maybe all females that came into the store had a cart, right? Like these are things that you can look through with that computers, that's the way like they they can view trend, they can view stuff like that is, is they're not there actually, my, my view on machine learning is a little different than most people's, but you're not, the computer's not learning that a the difference between a male or a female right like when when you throw something into like a machine learning model 
or something like that. It's like it's seeing a trend in ones and zeros, and it's it it can correlate those ones and zeros better than than a human can sometimes. Um, there, there's other uh, patterns that occur, but like I said, I mean, just looking at this, right? Like we came up with a pattern, we came up with our own protocol, um, and like I said, I'm going off on a tangent on machine learning. I'd rather not do that right now. We'll, we, we, I can do, a, I can do a lesson on machine learning if you guys want to. Um, so, I hope that this protocol video at least helped you understand what's going on uh, and how a protocol is formed. Um, let me pull up a packet real quick. Uh, a shout out to Reddit Infosec. Um, it's a cool uh, Reddit to hang out. They post some stuff. I'll go through and read like news and things like that. Um, but let's go through and do a Wireshark uh, protocol packet. We'll go to Google Images and look at um, we'll look at the images for it. Actually, you know what? Um, packet. We'll just do this. Right. So next time you see a protocol and you're in there and you're like, what's the protocol, right? These bits that are coming in, there's going to be a 32 bits coming in, right? Um, that's what this is showing you here. Uh, I don't know why it went black. Um, apparently... Apparently I'm getting, um, there's something weird going on there. Uh, but yeah. So these, if there's 32 bits that came in, right? So double what we had um, in, in the paint, because we had 16 here. Um, there's 32. The first four would be the version number, right? And the second four would be their header length, I think. IP header length, is that what IHL is? I believe that's what IHL is. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure uh, IP header length, and then your type of service, um, total length of the packet. So, so looking here, you can see that if you had 16 bits, um, and they were all on, they could be your total uh, length of your packet, right? Because that's the most value that you could represent in there. Um, granted, I guess you could break it up into even farther, but if it was, you you would know. But 16 bits total. So if we come over here and we do, let's do binary and we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that is in fact true. That if all ones were in this total length, your biggest packet you can send is 65,535. Um, I believe there are like other, I think jumbo frames and stuff, like you can, you can shove more data into them if you wanted to, but um, the original IP header and packet is the total length is 65,535, uh, yeah. I always get mixed up on those last three digits. But either way, then you have an identification, flags, fragmentized. But all this is doing, right, is the data is receiving that stream of binary like we just did in the in the paint, in paint, and it's just parsing them that way. And it says, hey, this, is, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this means this, this means this, this means this. Um, it's nothing... You know, it looks like a lot of voodoo, but the truth is it's extremely simplistic um, what a computer is doing underneath. It's just doing it extremely fast. So um, if I miss said anything or, you know, if uh, there's any changes or if you guys want more information on anything, let me know. Um, I'll try to upload another video. But so far, those are my um, five, six videos that I uploaded. And, um, yeah, this is my vacation, so take it easy on me. I... Uh, <laughs> I um I rarely take time off during the year, but uh, for Christmas and stuff, I always take time off uh, for that. So thanks for watching. Um, like I said, leave me a comment, uh, like, subscribe if you'd like. Um, yeah, I, I'm doing a podca podcast as well. I have a podcast out. Uh, I'd like to. Um, I've only done an introduction for it so far, one episode, and that's the introduction. It's not even. It's kind of like a teaser trailer. But uh, hopefully I'll get that up soon and then I'll post a video here. You guys can know when that comes out if you guys want to follow it. But yeah, thanks for watching.